Have you ever felt like sewing but didn't really feel like making a video? Yeah, me too, all the time. So anyway, so I decided to make this skirt, but I really didn't feel like actually filming a video, so this is what I did. I took a giant sheet, laid it out, cut it in half, and yeah, there are the two pieces. Then I pleated one side and had to pleat the other side. So basically what you have to do is you have to measure, oh, and then there, there, there it is. Um, Hello friends and welcome back to my video. Yesterday I told you a little bit about what I did so far. Well, that's a little bit of a lie since I ran out of time. Okay, so voiceover girl is going to take over now. You want to pleat the top of your bed sheet and pleat it so that it's the same size as your waist, both sides, but leaving two parts open. Then you're going to want to put it on your dress form or yourself if you're not fancy. Um, no offense, I didn't have a dress form for like ever. Anyway, I know this is like super confusing. It was a lot easier than what I'm explaining. But basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to pin those two pieces and cut it like you know, in like a, a semi-circle fashion, like the shape of your hoop skirt. Yeah. Just use your eyeballs. You're a smart human. All right. Well, for some reason, I decided now it was going to be a great time to put on my waistband. So that's what I did next. All right. Hopefully this makes a little more sense. So as you can see, I'm just cutting off those giant triangles so that it's shaped more like me and less like, you know, I took a giant bed sheet and put it on myself. All right, I think now is the time to address the elephant in the room. My hair is really long in this. Well, not really long, but for me, yeah, it's long. Um, Yeah, I actually made this in December. I'm just now getting around to editing the shot. All right, so before I sew up the sides, I'm going to attach the waistband because, I don't know, I just... I don't have an actual reason. I'm just doing that first, so yay. So I sewed up the waistband. I don't know, there's really nothing more to say. <laughs> well, y'all knew this was coming, but can I just say that I regret literally everything? This stupid fabric that I'm using, it's a sheet. I don't know why, but it is the literally hardest fabric I have ever used. It's so hard to put pins in and it keeps breaking my thread. Well, folks, this is how I've resorted to sewing it. You may be asking, why not just hand sew it? Because isn't that basically the same thing? You really think that I would be able to get a needle through this without destroying my fingers? I made my seam on the outside. Once again, you're not following a Makara Tours tutorial until you draw blood. Ha <laughs> ha. So at this point, surely you're going, oh my goodness, Rose, this sounds like a terrible experience. Why would anyone want to sew? To which I would answer, I don't really know, but I mean, look at the cool skirt I made. And here I am looking thrilled about the fact that I actually did something that didn't completely fall apart. Okay, so now we're going to do the mom test. And my guess is she's probably going to be like, wow. So let's see if I was right. Also, side note, I don't know what's up with this, but that's a thing. I'm pretty sure I made this video either on Thanksgiving or around Thanksgiving. I'm going to be on film in my car park. <gasps> wow. Please don't judge my mother for wearing Carhartts. She was outside working. Wow. wow! All right, friends, this is where things get spicy. Remember that stomacher? Yeah, this one. That's what I decided to burden myself with making next. So what I did is I took my pattern piece and then I cut out a piece and then it was like way too big. So then I pinned it to my bodice and I still didn't know what I was doing. Oh, by the way, this is new. Yeah, so I cut my bodice down the middle and added a zipper because I decided that's how I was going to make it so that it wasn't like really hard to put on. So here I am deciding to bone my stomacher and then I realized that I couldn't turn it inside out because... <laughs> Pepper, <laughs> do you mind? Sorry, Pepper was playing with the squeaky toy. Anyway, so yeah, so I was boning my bodice and then realized that I couldn't turn it inside out, so I just had to deal with that. But I also had to deal with a bunch of raw edges. So moral of the story, don't, don't start boning until you've thought it through. All right, so next I decided to take my overlay and cut out another piece for the bodice. Oh, by the way, did I tell you that I, um, yeah, I did that too. So once I got that all pinned, I put it all on my dress form to make sure that it looked okay. And I also put that random bow. So right now my stomacher is pinned on. So now you may be wondering why I make a stomacher over the top of that zipper you so meticulously put on. Well, this is why. Yay, I'm such a genius. 
It's literally been so long since I made this thing, I kind of forgot that I had to hand sew this. I had to hand sew this because there were so many zip ties that I knew I would definitely break my machine if I didn't do it by hand. All right, friends, now things get really spicy. I made my mom make me like a, like a thing of my arm. So then I used the thing in my arm to draw a giant spout thing that actually turned out to be too small anyway. And then I cut it out of sheets or something. I don't actually know what I made this out of. And then I spent like 10 minutes overthinking where I wanted the flowers to be on my spout and finally cut it out. Hey, that rhymed. Guys, I'm a poet and you guys didn't even know it. As much as I wish there was a magical fairy that could sew all the stuff for me, I had to do it. So yeah, there's me sewing the stuff and not my magical fairy. Just to clarify, no one's sewing any magical fairies because that kind of sounded wrong. What is this video about again? Hey guys, please ignore my potato-ness. I literally just threw on some random clothes because I just had a great idea. It turns out that I'm terrible at making sleeves. No one's shocked. I had a great idea and that is make my undergarment and the sleeves all one piece. That's right, folks. I am sewing a bunch of lace and sleeves to this ordinary tank top. That's what I'm doing. Wish me luck. So I cut out a bunch of lace and put it on the tank top and yeah, it was magical because it actually worked. Ta-da. Oh, and then here I am. So, so, oh, I'm sewing on, oh, I'm sewing on the nasty spout thing. Oh yeah, that's what I'm doing in this shot. Well, friends, it's sewed on. It's obviously not done, but. So like I said, I'm horrible at making sleeves, but um, I made something. Oh, by the way, this spout is stuffed with fiber fill. I literally can't believe I'm saying this, but we're almost done. Tune in next time to find out how it ends.